Hi! How's the work going? Our invaluable Amy has finished three more cases. They're already on your desk. Mark. Mark seems so happy. Like, he's just living the best fucking life, honestly. He's just big chilling. He's, just, he, he's like, this is the best job ever. <laughs> All right, let's, what's our next case? All right, so our next case is in Kronoberg County in Sweden. Nice. And it happened in October. Well, it happened on the 3rd of October, 2016 at 12.30. August or August? August or August. I don't know, I don't know which one's right there. Either way, Mr. Nilsson is the first responder today. So we're going to go and dive straight into this. Floof decided to pass through Sweden today. Oh, they actually slowed down at the bump as well. Crazy. All right. Oh, that's not what we do. Clearly not your truck. Ah, it's not pink. All right. Hazard lights are on. There's a smartphone. Let's call the emergency services. And we have signal. Wait, oh, there's a hazard. Sir. Uh. I'm... No. Where's the fire? Oh my god! Have I got the wrong stuff? Have I got the wrong stuff? You better have a fire extinguisher in here. Oh, could you imagine your fire extinguisher running out and then someone else didn't have one? I'd, I'd be terrified. I'd leave him in the car. No, I'd never do that. There you are. You're your fault, so I might as well check you first. Sir, can you hear me? If you're alive, I'd be impressed. <gasps> no way! Aren't you like a bear's just been at you? Breathe. Breathe. Why are you not breathing? Oh my god. Wait, was, was the other guy breathing? Is there a kid there? No. Please be breathing. Why can't I hear you? Let's start with the child. Gives him five initial breaths. Maybe enough to restore a breath. <gasps> you aren't breathing. Kid, where are you? There you are. All right. This. Uh, gloves. We're gonna. There we go. Get your CPR mask. Oh, I'm really bad at this. All right. I'm gonna save you. Jeez, I was blowing you like a balloon. Then are you okay? Are you breathing? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Recovery position. Come on. Oh, come on. Please don't die, dude. Where are you? I'm stamping on you. I got. Please tell me I've got clean stuff. Yeah, Let's give you some breath. Shower. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> no. Oh my god. I, I really blew his lungs up really fast. I just went, <laughs> get in there. <gasps> no. A boar. Blood stains. Ah, that guy lost a lot of blood. Impact point. Okay. Your car is mangled. Ah, broken windshield. Are there any clues in here? Did I put the hazards on? Oh, you little fucker! Of course, why didn't I figure that out? Silly human. It's gonna be the boar. The boar is definitely gonna be the first one. Okay, so boar. Changes lanes to avoid it. Which then, yeah. Yes. No, no, no. That one, because that one would come first technically. Okay, so we've got six clues. Uh, the first clue, a boar stands in the road. Engulf, halt, change his lane to avoid the animal. Collision with the oncoming truck. Truck driver's not wearing a seatbelt. Jacob Haroldson is ejected through the windshield. Suzanne Olander breaks and collides with the trailer. That, to me, seems right. I was right. Alive. No! Oh! oh no 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 i don't want to read that one no after careful examination at the hospital jacob was diagnosed with a spinal injury he underwent emergency surgery after which he had to complete several months of rehabilitation to be able to walk again Currently, Jacob works as a security guard at a local supermarket monitoring the cameras and will need to take painkillers for the rest of his life. Ingall suffered significant blood rush, lost due to the deep laceration uh, of his arm by the piece of glass. Fortunately, your CPR saved his life and the paramedics stopped the bleeding. The wounds healed quickly, but the glass severed several nerves and Ingolf lost full use of his left hand. The injuries were minor. However, he was a he was able to function normally. I don't want to read hers. Suzanne. When Suzanne's car hit the back of the trailer, its bumper smashed through, smashed the front window and hit her head instantly or killing her instantly. There was nothing you or the paramedics could do. She was buried a week later in her hometown. After the impact, August Orlando went into shock, which resulted in a coma. He also suffered from several minor internal injuries. After five weeks, he regained consciousness and returned to live with his father. The accident and the death of his mother traumatized him severely, and he had to undergo therapy for two years. After that, he returned to school. I feel really bad, but that fucking ball was sat there and he was laughing. It's like, haha, stupid humans. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I saw that as the first thing I would think of as soon as I saw the ball. I looked at it and went, ah, The next one is in Alps de, Alps, uh, Alps de Hut province. I don't know. It's in France, all right? Uh, it's a cliffside accident. Uh, August the 12th, 2014, after 1312, Trinette is the uh, first responder. 
And it uh, looks like we're going to have to pronounce some names that we're going to fucking really, really struggle with. Woo! Look at that. What a fancy car we're driving. All right. End is off. Hazard lights on. My glove compartment's locked. Where do I keep my phone? Right there. Without the fire. There's a fire! There's a fire! Ugh. Where's the fire? Oh, it's right. Uh... What? <laughs> I did more harm than good. What did I do? <laughs> How? Too dangerous. What? No, no, no. Oh my God, the stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, secure. The fire, the fire, the fire, the fire. It worked. All right, ma'am, I need to check. She's breathing. She's breathing. She's okay, no injuries. Oh, you guys are deaded. I don't even need to. Broken neck, oh shit. No, nothing. Nothing either. Drop her is there. Oh, I don't want to do this. You go. You go. You go. You're still. Oh my God, you go. Oh. Oh, you go. My dude, <laughs> did you see him? I would be, I would be out of that car. I, I would not be in there anymore. Help the victims. Uh, I'm gonna get them out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna get him out. Hey, buddy, you go. Come on, come out of here, buddy. All right, stay there, okay? Let me know if you need anything. I'm gonna help her if he needs new underwear. I don't have new underwear. I just have to wait. I could have got him to sit in the car with me. He's like, ah, yeah, you've been on the edge of a cliff. You shit yourself. You ain't coming in my car. The door. Man, look at my car, though, guys. Look at that. Woo! Damn, and it's in blue as well. God, it's like the game new. It's the game new, I'm telling you. I'm gonna guess that car's come down from there, so it doesn't look like we can get any clues from the car. So, oh, whose wheels are it? Car debris. 
I can go up? I'll go up in a minute. All right, so you... Hugo breaks too hard and understeers onto the cliff's edge, and he got skid marks. <laughs> I'm, j I'm joking, guys. He he's been stressful. All right, what are we looking at? Ah, I see. It's like the skid marks loses control. Why did you lose control, though? What did you do? It's gonna be uh, this one for the first one. I have to scroll it along. I thought it was gonna move along itself. Lose control, oh god, it's a balloon. It's a, this one. This one. That one. I think that was quite easy, actually. Okay, so for the last one, so we're organizing the event. So the yellow sedan uh, drives over a large rock and blows a tire. Uh, we'll just call him Gil. Gil loses control of the car. Sedan falls from the cliff onto the street below. Ber Berenice crashes into Gil's car. Hugo brakes too hard and understeers onto the cliff's edge. And that's, I, I think that's correct. Hell yeah. Make sure our pal Hugo is okay. Hugo. It took Hugo several hours to to recover from the psychological shock that his that that he experienced when his car stopped just at the edge of the cliff. Honestly, don't blame you, Hugo. That shit looks stressful. <laughs> I was stressed just from putting rocks in there. <laughs> that was horrible. The incident triggered severe acrophobia. Severe pipes. That haunted him for the rest of his life. Fortunately, with the help of a local psychologist, I think that's right, he was able to avoid more dangerous consequences. Berenice. Despite losing consciousness, Berenice was not seriously injured during the accident. She was revived shortly after arriving at the hospital and left two days later. And left it two days later. After that, she contacted Dubois and the Kaplan families and helped them deal with their grief. They remain close friends to this day. Okay. While his car was rolling down the hillside, Gil hit its roof so hard that he broke his neck and died instantly. Big oof. Ariane. When the emergency services were finally able to remove Ariane from the car, it was already too late. She died either when the car, when their car fell down the hill, or when Beren Berenice's car crashed into them. A few days after the accident, she was buried by her family. It's always I actually don't like it when when they die. It's still even though you don't get to attach these characters or anything, it's still like shit, man. Like this stuff can happen in real life. It, it's I mean people can just like that gone. It is, it's, it's crazy. It is crazy, honestly. Let's end this scenario and watch how this accident played out. That was actually quite brutal.